Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, not something automotive, or well, not really automotive, but you join me on, I guess, sort of a, a show and how-to guide on building a Corona TV stand. Like many, over COVID, we discovered new hobbies. Well, for me, sadly, it was drinking a lot, unfortunately, which I've managed to stem a little bit now, but this did leave me with a lot of Corona bottles. Now, I've always enjoyed a Corona beer, but there were people in the world that thought Corona beer was related to Corona the virus, which appeared to see a drop in sales. So they did discount them, which meant that I obviously ended up buying plenty of Corona beer throughout COVID. And I was left with all these bottles and I thought, there's gotta be something cool I can make out of these. And well, I'm chuffed to bits with it. But like I say, in today's video, we'll go through a process that I built actually thought of by a swimming pool drinking beer and uh, hopefully it helps a few others that want to do something similar. So originally I moved out of my place, moved in with my partner and we'd put the TV in the corner of the room. It didn't look particularly great and we had all the windows done and I said look we're going to need to do all the decorating at some point. I can't really find a TV stand that I like so I want to have a crack at building one and best of all being tight thought, you know what, I think I can build it out of these old bottles, potentially some old scaffold boards that I've got on the back there and some pallet wood. So like I say, in today's video, we'll go through the steps for that. So to build this, actually, other than about two days of my time, ended up costing about 25 pounds in parts, which included all the LED lighting, which you can hopefully see there, which for a TV stand now, for a good one, you're looking anywhere from sort of 100 to 300 pounds. So not really a lot of outlay and the benefit of every time I watch TV, I can admire my handiwork, hopefully others appreciate it too. So like I say, I'm gonna go through what you're gonna need for the job, and like I say, the process that I followed. I'm not a carpenter, so I'm probably there's gonna be a few at home going, wouldn't have done it that way, wouldn't have made it like this, but as I said, I'm not a train chippy by trade, so this is the way I built it. So obviously, you're gonna need some pallet wood, and I'm gonna go through how you strip down pallets. I actually found a guide online that was really good because when you normally try and either leave them apart, they end up splitting, breaking, which obviously renders them useless for the job. I've got a scaffold board on the back there because it's a nice big sturdy piece of wood, and I found this in the loft. So this actually has cost me nothing in materials, and given the price of wood at the moment, and anything being with materials, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise that I'd kept hold of that. Next, you're gonna need your Corona bottles, you're going to need some clean bottle top caps you're going to need some threaded six millimeter stud which this will all make sense so it's worth watching the video through first before buying anything you also need some led lighting which i've got in there and this stuff can be got online so cheap now but again we'll go through that further in the video and like i say i've done it around the playstation 5 and the controller so it was a bit biased really but the color works well with the corona and the playstation stuff so as I mentioned, taking apart the pallets can be tedious. It's not the worst job, and especially if you haven't done it before, you may end up breaking or cracking a few. Now the good news is, most places are throwing pallets away, and the good wood on them is really good. So for me, I was really happy to use it. And as I said, the tip that I found online was actually not to put a lever bar on there or try and use a crowbar to break them apart, but actually, what I found up doing, and I'll overlay a video which will hopefully make a bit more sense, is I used two axle stands, big chunk of wood in the middle of it, and then I hammered the wood next to it. And what this did was it made sure all the load was then being pulled on the nail heads and it didn't cause, I think out of all the two pallets I broke down, I managed to splinter or break one or two, if that, and that was where they had lots of screws in there. So really nice that you can obviously upcycle this wood that otherwise would have been burned, not used or disposed of. And like I say, didn't take too long once I learned out a bit of a technique. So as mentioned, if those have got better woodworking skills than me, you could do something really nice with the upper deck or even the lower deck, go have a really nice pattern. As I said, for me, I built this around the PlayStation 5. One, the color works really well with it with the blue and white because it's actually a dark blue in the PlayStation and the PlayStation actually fires up with like a, like a neon blue on it anyway, which matches all the LED lighting that I've run in here. And for say, if you're really good with your woodworking skills, you can make a really nice pattern in the top of there. With the pallet wood stripped, I then went about working out what sort of size I wanted it to be, because it could obviously be tailored to the room. I didn't want it too massive, but also at the same time, it needed to be sturdy enough to hold the TV, the PlayStation. I don't want it to move everywhere. And like I say, it's a pretty solid old bit that I've got there now, and it's certainly heavy to move as well. And like I say, depending on your skills, depends how well it's going to come out ultimately at the end of it. So I built the lower deck first, because that was my base size, and then I laid the PlayStation down on it, 
worked out a rough shape for the upper deck. And like I say, this could be to hold a surround sound system, ornaments. Like I say, you've got my elephant there, which is my missus's, that's her touch on it. And like I say, you can really tailor it to exactly how you want. So once I'd worked out the design, I then went on to bolting it all together. So for me, I used the leftover bits of wood again, some wood screws that were, I think they were about 15 mil, so they didn't come through the top side. And essentially, this will bolt all of the decks together. And you want to leave a good gap. You don't want any overhangs. You've got to remember the bottles have got to be able to sit in there. Whereas if I ran these slats all the way to the end, I'd have to do more drilling work to make the bottles fit. So at this point, I could then actually put some bottles in there and see how it all looked together. And I say, I used Corona bottles. I've also got a lot of leftover Jack Daniels bottles. You could use anything really. I mean, you want something with a half decent height, but you could go bigger bottles. You could get away with smaller ones, but it really depends on your theme. Like I had a lot of red stripe beer as well, and that would have looked pretty cool with the red and the white on here. But because it didn't go with the PlayStation, I was happy to go with a Corona themed TV stand. So the next thing you're going to do, and this is what I used for the structure, and I say you don't have to use the bottles as part of the bracing. You could make some beams through the middle of it, but I wanted to be able to look through the whole design. And what I actually used was six millimeter stud. So what you need to do, and I, looking back, I probably would have drilled more bottles, but at this point I ended up just drilling six bottles around the uh, the decks, and this would essentially hold it all together. And I say if you are drilling glass, make sure that obviously you've got eye protection, gloves because there is a chance it could shatter. So I actually made a bit of a like, rig on the uh, table so that it would actually hold the bottle free-handed so I could just put the drill on it. And if it did pop, I wouldn't have been holding it, which worked really well for me. So with that done and your deck still in primer or not painted at all, I then took a six millimeter drill bit after measuring it all out and went all the way through. And then on the top side and the underside, I used a 30 mil wood bit. And what I did was I just went down about two or three millimeters just to give a cut out. Now the 30 millimeter, for me, the bottle caps fitted in almost perfectly, which was great. So essentially, once I had that seat, I had a spot that the caps could go in, push them into position, using a rubber mallet, just knock them into place. So once you've finished drilling all the upper deck, you can then remove all the bottles out of the way, lay the upper deck on the lower deck, and that'll give you your holes that go through onto the bottom deck that I used to line the bottle up. And now on the lower ones, you are going to need to drill a six mil hole all the way through for the stud, which again will make more sense at the end of the video or later in the video. But essentially just laying it on top gave you a good guide of where all the bottles were going to sit below. So with your trial fit, if you're happy that everything is fitting together correctly, it's then on to painting. Now, I just went with a normal white paint on this because it was going to work, like I say, with the PlayStation scheme. I had an idea of doing it with Jack Daniels bottles and then doing like a burnt wood effect, which is where you take a blowtorch to the wood. I thought that could have like a rustic edge to it. So there's loads of possibilities, really. The creativity is going to come down to what you enjoy doing. But I don't think it's going to be the last one I build. I have had a few people ask me to make them. They're quite labor intensive. And like I say, I'm not the best of wood fabricators. So it's not something I would enjoy doing repeatedly. But like I say, there are so many possibilities if you do fancy a bit of upcycling and making a bit of furniture unique to the house. So as mentioned, I used six millimeter stud or threaded bar as it's called and six millimeter nuts. And now because I've got the six mil hole in the top, six mil hole in the bottom of the bottle, two studs, uh, sorry, it's one stud, two nuts, I can then bolt it all together. And the beauty is it's then gonna give it a nice solid structure. Now you don't have to tighten these like mad, but it is, like I say, once it's all bolted up, really solid. I probably, in hindsight, would have drilled a few more out because with a good drill bit, the bottles weren't actually that hard to drill, but like I say, you measure up your stud to your bottle length, cut it, and then obviously you can just put the nuts on either end and tighten it all up. With that done, you'll then be left with the six mil nut on the top, and as I mentioned, you can just use the bottle caps and just hammer the caps on gently, and that like now, say I'll show a video here where it overlays and actually covers the nut that's on top that holds them all together across the deck. So the finishing piece I did finally was just put a small white silicon bead around the bottles. Now, once it's all clamped down, they do hold in place, but I had the odd one that was moving about and I thought, you know what, you won't even be able to see the silicon bead because of the deck being white. So I just put a bead around there. I mean, I could have cut maybe a 50 mil slightly sunken seat in there for the bases to go in. Again, it was my first time trying this and this video is more to inspire people to build stuff than actually have dedicated how to. Um, but like I say, now we managed to lift it into the house all complete. It all stayed together, even when I was lifting it up on the side. And it's a, it's a lumpy old bit with all those bottles on there now. And like I say, all that wood together. So with that all completed, if you had a wall mounted TV, perfect. You'll be done now. You could have a little bit of mini trunking going up the wall to the wall mount. But 
because mine was going right in front of the window, I needed to build a brace. And this is where the beast of the scaffold board comes in. So as I mentioned, I used leftover scaffold board on there and I set it to a height where I wanted it. I built a bit of a frame on the back of that that the TV could mount to. And I painted that white as well so it all ties in. I wouldn't recommend using the pallet wood um, if you're gonna do a job like that because it isn't, I mean, it's not weak, but that is a serious bit of wood in there now. And I've got a 40 inch TV on there, which will soon be replaced with a 65 inch. So I just wanted to make sure that it would easy carry the weight. But like I said, the easiest option would be to build that and then if you were just against a plain wall, just use a wall bracket and then some white trunking that would hide the cables up from the bottom to the top as it'd save you bracing that and as we'll detail in this bit of the video, making the base strong enough so it doesn't fall over with a TV on it. So once everything was painted, I then bolted the scaffold board to the bottom deck from behind. I then put a little 90 degree plate on the top deck with four wood screws in there, bolted all that back. And then I actually made some little feet for the back of it to give it sort of stability to stop it rocking. I haven't got any kids, but last thing you want to do is someone walk into it and it end up falling over. Like again, because of the weight being top heavy, you just need to make sure it's all properly braced and sturdy when you're finished. So on to my favorite bit, the LED lighting. So I ended up picking a LED lighting kit up off of eBay from China. Um, beautiful bit of kit with a little Bluetooth module in it. I think it was about 15 pounds delivered and it comes on like a reel with double-sided tape and it's got a mode where you can download an app for free and you can change all the colors, how it's gonna reflect. You can even adapt its sounds of music from Spotify. I've kept it, like I say, with the blue to match with the theme that I'm going with, but it'll go red, green, orange. You can have it pulsate through the colors and at night really finishes it off, makes it look really cool at night when it all glows through the bottles. And essentially all you need to do is, as you go around it, double side it all to the underside and I've done it just behind the bottles and at night it just gives a nice consistent blue throughout the whole table deck. So I hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully it inspired a few people to go have a go at creating something else. I mean, I've got some other bottles that I wanna try and make some other stuff with around the house. Mrs. has been pretty understanding. Um, when I said I was building the Corona TV table stand, she was really in the house, in the lounge. Um, but even she thought it was pretty cool when it was done, or at least that's what she's telling me anyway. So two days tinkering in the garage, like I say, a bit of paint, a few drill bits, not really a lot. If you've got some basic wood skills now, I didn't have a chop saw, I just did it all with a hand saw and I actually didn't find it too bad at all because it's not like I'm building loads of these, it was just a one-off. I actually wanted to see if it could even work, but it's a real like feature now in the lounge when you come in and it's all lit up. Everyone that's seen it will be like, oh wow, where did you get that from? It's like, no, I built it out of old wood, baby. So yeah, plenty more to come. Got a few more projects in the go. This was just a mini video into what I've been doing in the house. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. So like I say, got something planned with those Jack Daniels bottles. I say, I've still got those and maybe some burnt wood effects. So we'll see what I can come up with in the next couple of weeks over winter. Until next time, thanks for watching.